Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead and call the uh, Board of Supervisors speed to order. Before we start, uh, I'd like to call on someone to volunteer to do the invocation. Anyone? Okay, man. And afterwards, we'll have uh, probably fair, lead us in the pledge. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and the many blessings we have. We ask that thy spirit will be with us as we go through this meeting and the, me and the things that need to be discussed, we, we may do so in a civil manner. We ask that thy spirit will guide us and direct us in the path that we need to go, and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Ready, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Yes, I wondered who would be responsible for a Excuse me, sir. Could you come up and speak into the mic so we can get you on the Brad Grauer, uh, I was wondering who would be responsible for the cost of transportation, considering it's a minimum of three hours and 45 minutes between Sapper and St. John's. Okay, Chief. Thank you. The transportation costs are all uh, Grant County. They do all transportation. They just house their inmates. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Chief? Mr. Chairman, also, uh, I failed to uh, recognize that the agreement was reviewed and approved by Joe Gunner with the Attorney's Office. So. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Two in favor, zero opposed. <coughs> Thank you. Anyway, we'll get them to the Okay, second the motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. Aye. The Apache County Jail District meetings are by adjourn. Thank you. Okay. Now we go to the uh, Apache County Board of Supervisors meeting. This, uh, item one. Says District Three Supervisor discussion possible action under call to public. Mr. Willard is not here for that. I just want to let the uh, audience know on this. You know, as the chair of the board, I will be putting this back on at the next meeting. So. You know, that's, however, you know, we need to please refrain from criticizing the board. I think that's what caused us, you know, purpose for take, having the chair take this off the agenda. Now, we're all civil on this, you know, and, uh, you know, 
know, we'll, we'll, we'll try it again. But it will be at the end of the uh, board meetings. Okay. I would like to speak to this issue on the agenda. Mr. Chairman, I believe uh, if you're going to remove this item because Sister, uh, do, uh, Supervisor Weller is not here, then uh, there would be no discussion on this if, it's, if you're going to remove it from the agenda at this point. Okay, there's no discussion on this. Before the meeting started, point of order. There is no discussion on this. I already said what I have to say. This isn't about what you have to say. This is about what the public has to say in response to an agenda item that's legally on the agenda. It's and officially it, there. Was there when the meeting started? And what is that? What is that? Um, the definition of freedom of speech and the reasons why it is protected in the United States under We're going to item two. Community development. Mr. Winger. Yes, Mr. Chairman, we'll be uh, looking at this. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Um, this is a public hearing. Or in a possible executive session, if you choose to go into one, for consideration of possible approval of the Greer Zone map, designating those properties listed as Greer Commercial Resort. These are existing businesses that have operated under a, a non-conforming use or a conditional use, and now being designated as a specific zone. A uh, little bit on the history of this, in, in July of 2010, the Board of Supervisors adopted the final draft of the Greer Zoning Ordinance, Article 6. Uh, the intent was that within six months we would, we would do this hard zoning, lay down hard zoning, have this map done back then, but uh, several things happened right after that caused that delay. First was a comprehensive plan. Uh, we decided to go and work with the University of Arizona and try and create a comprehensive plan. Um, after some in-depth uh, work, they created a master plan, but, but uh, failed to finish the comprehensive plan. So we, because of budgets and other reasons, we abandoned the project at that time. Shortly following that, the wall of fire happened, and uh, that, that also took our attention away from hard zoning the Greer area. Um, and so we have been working on this hard zoning map for over a year now. I mean, just to give you an example, we went to the PNZ Commission uh, in January and it was voted on in January. Uh, it took several months to get it to that point. Um, and we've been working on it for five months to bring it to the Board of Supervisors. Uh, there are, there's a list of 28 properties that, uh, that we reviewed. We've recommended a denial on a couple, mostly because uh, the property owner chose not to have that designated as commercial resort. The rest have chosen and elected to have their properties rezoned as commercial resort. Uh, Supervisor Weller, unfortunate that he couldn't be here today, he uh, sent me several emails over the weekend, one of which he asked me to, to read. Um, I forwarded it to Beth so she could put this in the record. Um, let me just let me just go through this briefly for you. Um, Supervisor Weller, whose district this zoning issue resides in, has requested this agenda item to be postponed until he can attend the board meeting. Uh, I have decided not to postpone the item uh, as I've worked with the attorney's office and. The, the people involved in this, uh, we've chosen to move forward with this. We had it on the agenda back in April and postponed it then. Um, it, would, it would be some extensive delays to postpone it again. Anyhow, Mr. Weller continues that he's had approximately 35 individuals taking the time to express their specific and substantive concerns. Uh, he's met with them on several times. He's met with county personnel. Um, he says there's been no communications to Supervisor Weller's office from a single supportive citizen to approve the controversial parcel. There's one parcel in here, one acre out of, a, out of approximately 50 acres that there's controversy over whether or not it should be rezoned for a commercial resort. And he is, he's received several, and you'll hear from several today that are against that. And we'll have that discussion here shortly. 